My name's Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and welcome back to another episode of Homeschool. For today's project, I'm gonna show you how to install sod in your yard. As part of my recent backyard renovation, I chose to install sod to add a nice lawn area in the backyard. So today I'm gonna to show you all the steps required to install sod at your home. Sod is a popular option in many renovations because it gives you the option of having an instant green lawn without going through the long process of seeding and growing a lawn. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're likely to drop while tackling the project. This one isn't too f***ing difficult, but it is a bit labor intensive depending on the state and size of your project and if you are replacing a current lawn or starting from scratch. In this case, I'm starting with a newly created area that I added with the construction of some retaining walls. So the first step for me was to add fill dirt to bring the area up to grade and compact it to minimize settling. Now, if you're replacing a current lawn, your first step will be to kill the existing lawn and remove it. You can't install sod over existing grass because the existing lawn will decompose underneath and it will heat up during that process, which will kill the sod above it. Once you've killed and removed the existing lawn, you can then use a rototiller to prep the area and loosen the existing soil. In my case, I brought the grade up by using basic fill dirt and then added a few inches of topsoil to bring it up to the grade that I needed. You'll also need to make sure you have irrigation installed in the sod area if you're living in a dry climate. Sod requires regular watering to successfully root, so having an irrigation system or regular watering schedule is necessary for your success. You'll need to make sure your irrigation system has head-to-head -head coverage so that there are no dry spots between heads so that your sod is fully watered. I'm not gonna go into a great amount of detail on an irrigation system in this video, but if you'd like some tips for how to install a sprinkler system, I've done a video on that, which you can find at the link in the description down below. From there, use a large rake to fine grade the area. Depending on the side you choose, you'll wanna make sure the finished grade is that thickness below any walkways or driveways. In my case, the finished grade is half an inch below the surrounding patio. Next, apply a sod fertilizer or seed starter over the area and then use a roller to settle and firm the surface. You can typically rent a roller like this from Home Depot for around 20 bucks a day. Measure the area you'll be installing and order your sod. Many sod distributors can deliver same day or next day, and once it arrives, begin installing it immediately as it needs to be installed before drying out and wilting in the sun. Make sure you have a few hours of the full day set aside to tackle the project in one go when deciding when to have the sod delivered or when you go pick it up. In this case, I'm installing a Marathon 2 sod, which is a year-round green fescue that is dense, durable, and quick to recover. I recommend finding a sod dealer in your area that can help you choose which sod is best for your application and your climate. Sod pricing can vary greatly depending on the area that you're in, so do some research on the front end for expected pricing for your area. Start by laying the sod along the longest edge or boundary first and stagger each new row in a brick-like pattern. Cut the sod around any obstacles or edges with a large knife or a spade shovel. I found using a drywall knife actually worked pretty well, you just have to clean it really well afterwards. Make sure you're bumping the edges of each piece of sod tightly to those around it and water lightly once you've installed every 200 square feet of sod. Once you've covered the entire area, use the roller to roll the entire area and ensure solid contact between the sod and the soil beneath it. Next, turn on the sprinkler system and let it run until the sod is good and soaked. Once it's installed, check the recommended guidelines for watering schedule of your chosen sod. Try to water your sod as early in the morning as possible, but not before 4 a.m. And try not to water it during the heat of the day as well. Even though it may seem a little early, make sure you cut the sod a week after installation or once it reaches around three to three and a half inches tall and fertilize it once a month thereafter for best results. And that's it, you are finished with this project. Thank you guys for watching and if it's your first time visiting the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of the new content I put out. And as always, I encourage you to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this project and what types of projects you'd like to see me tackle next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.